What's up, YouTube? It's PZS in here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a uh, sort of a, uh, a first look and uh, my initial impressions on numbers. So let's go and get into it. Now, if you're wondering what numbers is, it's uh, basically a spreadsheet application. Uh, you use it for spreadsheets and charts and stuff. Um, it's basically Excel or um, yeah, it's basically Excel if you are familiar with Microsoft Office. So, anyway, here's the, uh, the interface. Alright, so we've got, um, these are all your documents. This one's just something I was, uh, messing around with. Uh, you got the plus button and you got the edit button. I'm actually going to, and this is also, what I'm about to do here is also doable in, um, in numbers. And you saw what just popped up there. If you tap the name of the document, you can rename it to whatever you want to. Uh, but, if you, um, tap and hold a document, it'll begin to wiggle and select it like this and you can tap this trash can up there to delete it and that the plus button there actually just makes a another document for you uh, it automatically defaults it to blank and stuff so well, that's that hit the done button and it's all done so uh... this document right here that's nice and big is um, basically a uh... how you know how you can you it, t it shows you everything you can do with uh... pages i have yet to look through that but i'll probably look through that tonight be some good to read tonight so uh, but let's go ahead and make a new document. So hit plus, and again, just like in Pages, it says you can create a spreadsheet, or you can copy from iTunes, iDisk, or WebDAV. If you guys know how to say that, let me know. <laughs> uh, and again, just like Pages, it gives you a lot of um, templates. So I'll just uh, so I'll just scroll through these so we, you can see what all they are. I should probably lower the uh, exposure a little more. There you are. So again, just like before, we're going to hit uh, blank. Now, like I, uh, like I said, I'm not very good with this program yet, but especially this one compared to Pages. It's just, uh, I have, it's really, it's, it, it's, it's interesting. Um, I'm not used to this. So, I, I mean, I, I can try to give you guys a basic rundown as to how it all works, but, you know, just bear with me here. I'm trying my best. Uh, but again, it's not like I'm trying to show you guys how it all works. Just trying to give you guys a first look. So, you can zoom in to this, and it brings you to this corner here. Now, the thing I really kind of find interesting is that if you try and scroll around the page, it's going to scroll through, uh, you can sort of see how it's actually scrolling through the spreadsheet. That's just something that threw me off. I wasn't expecting that to happen, but there you go. I wonder, I bet there should be a way to turn that off in the settings, but maybe not. Uh, but, basically what you can do, it works just like you would expect. You simply tap a cell. And actually, you double tap the cell. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, you can tap one of these dark ones up here to uh, give it a heading, but actually, let's say, I don't know. Let's say number, excuse me, wrong one. Number of, I don't know, since it's on my mind, <laughs> number of fish. Um, and versus number of how about number of leaves I don't know just trying to give you guys an example not the best one but there you go and then right here you can hit there and um, actually let's change leaves to um, oh, excuse me it's up here uh, bugs and when you're done typing, hit this check mark up here to save it. Uh, that's how it works. All right, so number of fish, number of bugs. So, and then over here, we're going to say uh, dead and alive. Oops, hit the check mark. All right, and then we can go ahead and uh, input our data here. So for number of dead fish, Let's say there are five of them. Alrighty. Number of live fish. We'll say there are seven of them. And then number of uh, number of dead bugs. We have six of them. Number of alive bugs. We can have twelve. I don't know. That's not like it has any sort of relations with each other. But there we go. There's our data that will be what we're going to use. <clears throat> okay, so now what we can do 
I believe what we do here is, um, if you want to make this uh, into a chart, or actually, if you let's see if we can. Hmm, you see, I'm not really. I don't know all of the uh, notations and uh, stuff that you can input into the cells to uh, make it automatically add that up. But you know, you could put down here totals, and then actually, let's let's just try that. Let's see. We'll put down here uh, total totals. So and here we go. Um, I'm going to hit plus minus. Oops, sorry. Uh, actually, uh, what I want to do is hit this equal sign up here. That's how you change your different modes. You have 42, which means number. Next to that, you have is that a clock? Oh, that's where you can hit this here to uh, insert time and date. It gives you a little calendar. Uh, this T get makes you allows you to hit do text, and the equal sign lets you do um, equations and such. So let's see if we can do this. I don't know if I can. Um, sum of yeah actually that's how I do it so I hit the sum button it automatically selects what's above it which is actually what I wanted it to do uh, so sum of that of uh, B2 yeah B2 and B3 is what we want hit the check mark and it says it has 12 although that's not what it is it actually has oh no never mind I thought that was a 6 but I guess we can do that again with this one hit sum of that yep and we can also if you want to you can select uh, more if you want to, but you know. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, delete that. Bye. All righty, there we are. We're good. And we hit the check mark, and it gives us that. In this case, it's 18. I hope you guys can see this okay, because I'm not sure. My camera screen is a little deceiving, but hopefully that's clear enough. <clears throat> okay, now let's see if we can make this into a chart. Alrighty, sorry guys, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I had to figure out how I'm going to do this next thing. So, we have right here our data, number of fish, number of bugs, and we have the number of dead fish, and number of live fish, and the total number of fish and frogs, or bugs, whatever. Um, so, if you want to put this data into a chart, the first thing we got to do is we got to put in a chart. Like, we got to actually put in a chart. Um, so basically, in order to insert a chart, you, just like in um, Pages, if you haven't already seen that video, you tap the uh, the picture up there, and it'll bring up charts. Um, and also, if you want to insert a picture for whatever reason, maybe to show, give you a better visual of what you're actually doing, uh, just hit the media button. Tables will obviously let you insert another table. Charts will let you insert the charts, and shapes gives you shapes. So we're going to insert a chart and a uh, chart. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Um, chart, and I think the best one to use would be a bar graph. So we're actually just going to use the bar graph there. So there's a bar graph. Now once it's inserted it says that thing there said, uh, if we double tap it, it says tap or drag on any chart, on any table, excuse me, to add data to the chart. So we're actually just going to go up here to where our chart is and what we're going to do is we're going to select this cell here and you can see how it's selected. So we're going to select that and we're actually going to drag it. Whoops. We're actually going to take it and we're going to drag, darn, I should not have let go of that, um, let's see if I can undo that, do that, um, well, if I messed up, actually, let's go down to here, but you can sort of see what it's doing there, it actually, uh, added stuff to it, but we got to undo that, because <laughs> I messed up, <laughs> sorry, so, double tap the chart, now we scroll up to where our data is, and what we want to do, just like it says down there, touch, uh, the data and drag it across and there we go now our data has been selected you can see that blue will be number of fish and green will be number of bugs I don't know if you can edit that later on but now what we do is we hit done and it inserts that data into our chart just like so um, very very simple so I'm gonna just zoom out for you guys there and you can take a look at our chart we just made you can also go in here and obviously you can edit the title actually I think we do that no I don't want to delete actually undo how do I go about changing its title double tap to edit chart preferences so oh I guess what I want to do is uh da, da. oh there we go I don't know what I did there but ah, I just went away go ahead thank you so you can uh you know I don't know bugs 
versus fish in whatever pond. There we are. Done. And there is our chart. And now if we want to save that, we'll hit done and hit the spreadsheets button and that's been saved. And we can obviously rename it to bugs versus fish. Just like before, we can hit the um uh, excuse me, we can uh, tap here, hit the settings button, share and print, and we can email uh, the spreadsheet as a numbers, PDF, or Excel. So we hit the PDF button, it will render it, and we will be able to send that. Um, so, whew, there y'all go. Um, yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty interesting. But hopefully I'll have a more fluent review up in the hopefully near future as I play around with this more. Um, but that's just a quick first look at um, pages, or excuse me, uh, numbers. So there you go. Bam. Thanks for watching.